uh, try and fail, but don't fail to try. This sort of risk taking by irreverent, unreasonable people is what changes the world. All, you know, all progress depends on the unreasonable man. Uh, and Martin Luther King said, human progress depends on the creatively maladjusted. <laughs> Those are wonderful quotes. They're more importantly, very, very insightful quotes. I, I, I told you how I fell in love with the idea of doing a startup when I was 16. Uh, also around that time, um, I, I lived in a place where we didn't have refrigeration, so I had to go get milk every, every single day. I'd have to go to the milkman go while he milked the, the, the buffalo and get milk. Literally, he'd milk it, put it in your container, I'd, and I'd waste time every day doing this. And I just said, hey, how about milk that doesn't need refrigeration? And so I started looking into soy milk, but that never got off the ground. They told me it would take me seven years to get a phone in India in those days. There was a waiting list of seven years to get a phone for your business. I just sort of said, hey, Silicon Valley is where I'm going to go. <laughs> yeah. In my main investing, we tend to be US focused. We do have exceptions. In our American or Chinese, I just sort of think of myself as international. I've always wanted a global passport. <laughs> so it's hard to find agricultural investors. Uh, having said that, I love agriculture, I love food. Uh, so we do radical things. Uh, the latest thing we've invested in is salt that isn't bad for your heart. Uh, I know these sound weird, and they're all serious technology approaches. I love technology. I love technology more than I love startups. I'm sort of a technology bigot. Technology is my only religion. I don't do non-technology startups. I only do technology because I sort of think of the business side as a way to indulge my hobby and learning more about technology and learning more every day. Um, but we are doing radical things. We are looking at a radical approach to candy. Somebody's trying to compete with Snickers, Mars bars, M&Ms with a healthier product. Uh, so we'll look at anything radical that's technology based. Anybody have real expertise, a PhD in food technology, I want to talk to you. Which would say for anybody who's sort of a finance major, if you have to do finance, don't calculate an IRR. Look at the option value of things. Right? If you really want to be strictly financial, say, what is the option value of things? What could things be if everything worked out? And then what's the probability of that happening? And if you did that, then you can technically computer option value. Thank you all very much. Thank you.